good day all welcome to my course on stress analysis of psv or prv connected piping system psv stands for pressure safety valve and prv stands for pressure relief valve the stress analysis methodology for both psv as well as prv systems are typically same that's why we are considering these both of these instruments in the same system here in this image you can see that this is a typical psv connection the this side is the psv inlet whereas this side is the psv outlet so fluid comes from through psv inlet and when uh, there is an excess pressure this psv mechanism helps to pop up this valve and then the fluid flows through the psv outlet and it releases the pressure in general the inlet side of the psv remains at high pressure for example if this line is of 300 rating so it will be 300 rating flanges and the outlet of the psv will be low pressure connection uh, for example if this is 300 it may be 150 rating and if this is a 600 rated flange then the outside may be 300 or it may be 150 rating uh, the demarcation actually starts after this flange so this flange will be of the same rating of the inlet flange but the pressure releases and the remaining pipe becomes of lower pressure rating and this will be getting connected to the flare line any flare header or uh, subheader and which in turn will be going to flare header and then to separator so this is the rough process of the psv systems or prv systems in this course we will be learning the stress analysis procedures what we or in design consultancies people perform let's look at the contents of this course means what are the topics or modules that we will be explaining in this course so first is introduction so a brief about the psb systems in this image also you can see that same earlier psb what you seen in the first slide the same with a bigger image a part of the psb discharge line is shown here then in the second part we will be learning that required documents for psb system stress analysis means we all know that for performing stress analysis we need some documents so what are those important documents that we have to be sure that the, those details are with you before you start the psb piping system stress analysis then psb reaction force calculation as i mentioned that when there is a high pressure or excess pressure the psb pops up suddenly and releases that pressure but due to this sudden jerk or sudden pop up action this psb will be exerting a reaction force in the complete piping system so we have to calculate that reaction force because during initial phases of the project normally vendor is not finalized even sizes will not be finalized so you will not be getting uh, the details of the reaction force during the start of the project so in general we assume so certain values based on the size that process uh, uh, team provides us uh, based on the inlet and outlet uh, outlet size and psb designation we calculate the reaction force and apply during initial phases of our stress analysis but later when actual vendor is finalized and we receive the actual reaction force from the psv vendor then we apply the same reaction force received from vendor in this calculation to find the final result next applying the psv reaction force so what are the steps or what are the procedures that we apply the psv force at which points we have to apply the reaction force in the software module and finally we will be actually doing a 
PSB piping system stress analysis case study to learn the basics starting from the modeling, load case preparation till the analysis and how we are actually applying the reaction force in the system. And towards the end, I will explain certain best practices and if we apply these best practices, then there will be possibilities that there will not be any failure or systems can be easily qualified. So, uh, during the routing stage itself, when PSB line routing is finalized, during that time, if you communicate with the, the layout engineer and inform these requirements, then during stress analysis phase, you don't have to take much pain and you can easily qualify the system. So those best practices we will be explaining towards the end after the case study. So introduction. So what is a PSV? PSV or pressure safety valve are a type of valve and are very common in any process industry. So this is a type of valve similar to other valves but the construction and operating philosophy of this type of valves is quite different as compared to normal valves like gate valves, ball valves, butterfly valves or globe valves etc. And this is a safety device that's why it is called pressure safety valve. And in any process industry whether it is oil and gas it may be refinery, petrochemical complexes or even in power plants also these are very common to protect any equipment or system from over pressure PSB systems are used in lines. So near the equipments to protect the equipment from the over pressure situation we know that due to process parameter change there may be certain situations when the pressure inside the systems may increase beyond the design limit of that equipment so in those situation to safeguard the equipment because equipment is highly costly uh, equipment is very costly and if it fails then again to change the equipment a huge economical impact will be there. So it is better that before failing the equipment, we will be releasing the pressure to safeguard the system. And along with economic cost, there will be hazardous situation, even life cost also will be there. So in all respect, installing PSV or PRV will be a better option. Because of that, PSV or PRV systems are used or installed in the system to protect. Now, when the pressure inside the system or equipment exceeds a predetermined level, this predetermined level or predetermined pressure is known as set pressure. So, if the pressure inside the system exceeds the set pressure at which the pressure safety valve or pressure relief valve is set or designed to operate, they are activated automatically. So automatically the valves activate and release the pressure by popping up and bringing the equipment pressure to a safe operating level. So whenever due to any reason the pressure inside the system increases the, and it exceeds the set pressure, the PSV pops up and with that popping up, certain fluid along with high pressure will be released and then it will bring back the equipment pressure to a safe operating level. Here you can see that two PSBs are installed in the line uh, and these red color uh, parts are the PSBs. So this is the inlet and this is the outlet. So whenever pressure is high, so through the inlet it will force the PSB system to operate or act when the normal set pressure is exceeded and the fluid will flow through the outlet and it will go to the flare header. Now there are two types of PSV. One is known as closed discharge PSV and other is open discharge PSV. 
Open discharge PSV outlet is open to atmosphere. So that's why this is called open discharge PSV. Means whatever during pop up situation, whatever fluid is released through the outlet, it will be simply exhausted or eliminated to the atmosphere. Whereas for closed discharge PSV, it will be going to the flare header and there it will be burned off or in the separator or certain part uh, could be accumulated and then remaining part will be burned up at the flare. As I was explaining that due to an uncertain event, if the pressure of any equipment becomes higher than the set pressure of the installed PSVs, then they pop up and reduce the system pressure. During popping up activity, the PSVs exert huge reaction force over the system. And as a stress analyst, our main aim will be to contain or to safeguard the system against this reaction force. Means we have to provide arrangement or mainly support in such a way that that reaction force is taken care by the support or transferred by the support to the secondary structures. During the analysis of PSB connected stress systems, we have to consider this reaction force. This is the main reason that PSB connected systems become stress critical. So uh, this is the reason because of this huge reaction force in most of the organizations, PSB connected piping systems are considered as critical and proper formal stress analysis using softwares like scissor 2, auto pipe, K pipe or ROAR 2, this stress analysis is performed. Here also you can see that a typical PSB is shown. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. Here in the same way, this is the inlet and this is the outlet. At the outlet, you can see that pipe is supported using a three-way support, rest, guide, and line stop. And at the inlet, it is provided with two trunnions and supported using a only a rest support. Now, required documents for PSB system stress analysis. So to perform PSB system stress analysis, what are the documents that we will be requiring? The following documents are required while inputting in scissor 2. First is stress isometrics because without stress isometric or alignment sheet or GA drawing, you cannot model the piping system itself and for any stress analysis, you will be requiring the dimensions. So you have to obtain the stress isometrics or GA drawings or alignment sheets from layout team. Then PNID and line list. From line list, you will be getting all the process parameters that are required for stress analysis. Then PSB data sheet with reaction force and PSB weight. This data normally we get after 60% model review that means towards the end of the design phase. So during initial phase, PSB data sheet you can get from the process team because they will be preparing the PSB data sheet for purchase purposes. And from that, you will be getting the preliminary sizes. And based on that, you can calculate the reaction force during your preliminary or initial phases of stress analysis. And PSB weights you can assume similar to other valve weights and later when you receive the actual vendor data sheet from that you can update that weight as well then equipment ga and data sheet if the equipment is the part of the stress system if the psb system is connected to any equipment then that equipment ga drawing and data sheet also you will be requiring to model the complete system so these are the main documents that you will be keeping with you before you starting the stress analysis process. Now here you can see that these are the PSB system and here at the end what is burning that is the flare. So whatever 
exhaust or whatever discharge is there uh, that will be finally going to the flare stack and will be burned off. So that's all for the introduction part of the PSB system stress analysis. Thank you. Now we will be learning the next things in our next modules.